Hey, my dear Lady Gaga, how are you doing? I'm Wang Bingzhong, the spokesperson for one Taiwan's political parties named New Party. Today, I must give my salute to you. As you praised Dr. Tedros, the Director General of the World Health Organization, as a superstar, I must say you are also the superstar, especially at the top of the world. In addition, you are the goddess of love and peace in my mind. Facing the coronavirus pandemic, we need love instead of hatred. We need peace instead of war. However, the United States still cannot give up its battle with China, even though it's a critical time for the whole world to combat against the disease in solidarity with one another. It seems that President Trump only cares how to pawn off his responsibility on the WHO. Taiwan, the vessel of the United States, has been even carrying on the racist campaign against Dr. Tedros. What is really a shame for anyone from Taiwan who has any sense of justice. Dear Lady Gaga, since you praised Dr. Tedros publicly, you have been the newest target for those collectivists to attack. Nevertheless, I believe it matters nothing to you. For you always show who you are and convey how you are thinking. You have such great charisma to attract millions of your fans all over the world. Fortunately, we have you and those excellent singers reminding us that human beings are one world confronted with the disease. My dear friends, we shall thank Lady Gaga and those excellent singers for softening people's stress with those beautiful melodies and encouraging words. We shall also thank Dr. Tedros for doing his best to solidify universal efforts to defeat the pandemic. In addition, we shall definitely thank China for sacrificing itself to provide more preparation time to all of the world. Yet, except for Taiwan, China's largest island, in which the officials and media insist on referring to the pandemic, the COVID-19, as Wuhan virus or Chinese virus, regardless of the WHO's demand to avoid naming the disease with any discriminatory words.